Hello and welcome again, dear friends, mga kaibigan, all our friends from all over the world. It is another Acad Asia webinar, and today we have Technology Tuesday. Okay, so this is in this series, uh, we will be showcasing some of the tools that we use, uh, online edtech tools, and um, uh, we'll showcase this to you and how we use it so that we can enhance our ex teaching and learning experiences. Okay, so first, before I continue, I'd like to shout out all our friends. So we have um, friends from the Philippines, from Mindoro, and from other regions. Hello from Iligan City. Uh, good evening to you. And of course, all our other friends are watching our Technology Tuesday today. So um, it's going to be a very short session. Uh, what we have, uh, yes, hello from friends from Lanao from Singapore, from Malabon City. Hello, everybody. So it'll be a short demonstration, uh, our very interesting tool that I'll be showcasing uh, today. Uh, and we've been using this especially when, um, when uh, ACAD Asia provides its design thinking uh, webinar trainings. Okay, so one of the upskilling sessions that uh, ACAD Asia provides is design thinking. Uh, this is a, uh, usually a paid session that is booked by institutions and groups. Uh, it's best uh, applied when there's a relatively uh, large group, maybe around 20 people minimum, so that you can maximize the design thinking experience. And as you know, this month of October is design thinking uh, uh, month, and we want to be able to showcase how we can use design thinking to improve and enhance our educator and teaching practice. Uh, last week, we had our special guest, uh, Rajan from Singapore Polytechnic, who introduced us the concepts of design thinking. Now I'll show you the tools. And then later, I think some of the uh, our friends here, we signed up uh, who are interested, who might be uh, interested to join our cohort. Okay, so we're trying to see a, have a master class on design thinking. So just... Uh, post your comments in the chat or reach out to support at academia.com. If you'd be interested to join the cohort, if you can form 20 people who are willing to take the workshop with design, with design thinking by academia, we can run it. Okay. So just let us know if you'd be interested for that. Okay. So moving on, uh, the tool that we are showcasing today that we use for, um, that we use for design thinking is called Miro. Okay. If you want to Google that, uh, Miro, uh, I used to think it was pronounced Miro. Uh, it was mispronounced. It's called Miro. It's one of the interesting tools that we use for, it's like a digital whiteboard or a digital um, uh, uh, online tool, uh, design thinking tool that allows us to kind of map out the entire design thinking process as if we were in the same room together. Because before usually design thinking, you would gather in a function room or a training session face-to-face You'd have a lot of work, uh, you know, materials like uh, uh, cartolina, Manila paper, uh, blank posters, post-its, uh, markers, pens, and of course stickers. And then when you have the brainstorming and an ideation session, you stick those on the wall. And then at each step of the design thinking uh, process, you would then um, gather in the information group them into clusters and try to draw, um, let's say, problem statements or solution statements, uh, customer journey maps, uh, 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 empathy maps, and try to come up with also uh, solutions, initial solution cases, uh, solutions for those uh, problems that you identify. So before you thought that you can only do that in live session, but here with Miro, you can actually do it uh, as a fun way to also do it in your online sessions. Let's say you have a blended learning session, you have a synchronous class, or even if you want to de demonstrate it in a synchronous class. So the recording of the session will be available. You can rewatch it later when you sign up for the course, okay? So that you can see how we use Miro. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screen so that I can demonstrate Miro. All right, so I hope everyone sees my screen now. So this is Miro. Just go to Miro.com and you can create an account. Right now I'm signed in, of course, as the Acad Asia account. Um, and initially Miro is free. And then you can even have different groups. 
So for example, I use this for the Acad Asia webinars. And then we also have for our courses like Futurepreneur 201, which is our entrepreneurship course in Acad Asia. Sometimes we use Miro as well. And you can have multiple groups here or teams. And then here, We've used this before. So the Academia webinars, we have a lot of users here and team profiles, okay? So here is the online version of sticky notes or post-it notes, and you're sticking them on the board. But in this case, you're able to create these boards. So if you notice here as I'm mousing over, there are many kinds of boards that you can create. So for example, if I were to create a new board, if I click the plus item here, and it'll become a read only, view only, because I've had several boards before. So you can make as many boards, um, and these are uh, Miro boards that you can kind of put virtual sticky notes on. It's similar to, if you tried Jamboard in Google, it's similar, but I think this is much more user friendly. And um, there's also, uh, you can make as many, but if you're on a free account, you can only, you're only limited to three editable boards that you can. Uh, change and reuse. You have to go to a paid account if you want unlimited edit boards. But in this case, since it's only for demo purposes, this is fine. I'm going to create a team board and I'm going to rename this board as Technology Tuesday. Uh, Technology Tuesday. But for now, uh, before I rename that board, here is a bunch of templates. So if you ever did any brainstorming sessions, ideation, uh, mind mapping, word mapping. Um, these are basically what we do in the meeting room or face-to-face -face and you write on the whiteboard, but here we're doing it all virtually. Okay, so we're able to post these tickets. So we have project kickoff, brainstorming, so lots of post-its and what have you. Yeah, you have workflows and other design boards and here they're mapping and diagrams. So very interesting uh, ways to use uh, these virtual whiteboards, smart meetings, design sprints. You'll become more familiar with the design sprint uh, term. Basically, when you do a design thinking session, it doesn't have to be long. It can be short, usually one to two hours to as long as half a day or a full day. That's called a design sprint where you have an objective. There's something you want to do. Let's say a problem you want to solve or something you want to find out and discover. Or you just want to get a survey of the information you know, about a particular uh, opinion, let's say, uh, is it good to add an extra a classroom in the campus today, uh, given that there's not enough space or some problems like that? So things, discussions like that, you can actually brainstorm virtually if you, uh, you can only do it virtually aside from doing it face to face. OK, so these are basically a lot of the templates that we can use. So, for example, let's try to do a simple one. Let's say uh, I want to search for, let's say. Um, uh, problem statement, okay, here, problem statement. So let's say we are trying to identify particular issues. Let's say, why is enrollment very slow? Why can't I, um, why are not enough students um, coming to class? Or, you know, how do we um, uh, pr prepare for the next graduation uh, session or, other issues like that, or how do we improve the teacher quality? So when you look at different problem statements for your organizations or institutions, if you're education, or even in your own uh, simple, uh, you know, everyday life, actually, when you practice design thinking, you can actually apply it uh, in your own life. You can use some of these templates already. So they're already started off for you. Then you just fill in the blanks. Okay. So for example, let's try this. So some are um, free from Miro. And then some are made by some other third-party users, like this one. So we're just going to use the simple Miro uh, ones. Let's start with, let's say, uh, let's go with the simple customer problem statement. So I can preview this or I can use it. So I preview, let's say, the customer problem statement. So when in design thinking, usually, this is when we try to imagine the scenario. Let's say, what is the issue that we're trying to solve? or who is the persona or who is the person that is having the problem, right? So here in this template, notice I am a traveler. I'm trying to book flights on my phone, but it takes a long time because, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like this. So this is when we're trying to list down all the things that we want to think about when we're trying to conceptualize a particular issue or problem, 
Okay. So here in the preview, and I'll show this to you later, you can actually zoom in, zoom out. So I can, I hope I can do it. If I click here, yes, there. I can zoom in and zoom out, or I can uh, move the template around. So I'm just playing with it. So this is one of the examples that Myro can do if you're using a laptop or desktop. Okay. So very interesting tool. And then you can read if it's too small. All right. So let's say we want to use this. And I want to use this existing template. I use the pre-filled. If you want blank, you can also use blank. So let's use pre-filled. So if I click here. So it's now starting the Miro board. Okay. So right now there's some quick tutorials, how you can uh, cut and paste sticky notes and group them. You can sort and easily cluster. So something like that. Okay. So you can do that next time. But for now, we'll just practice with this um, problem statement board, okay? So notice here, everything is clickable, okay? And you can move around different items and select them and uh, manipulate them. So for example, I'll click here, Untitled. So let's say this is Technology Tuesday. Tuesday. Myro Demo. In description, Acad Asia. Tuesday. Okay. All right. And then that's auto saved. So notice here the name already changed. Okay. So this is a free board uh, that is editable, but I'm the only one here. Okay. So now we're just playing with the board. So if I click my mouse, I can click and drag and I can select items. Or if I use two fingers, I can move the board around. Or I can pinch to zoom out or zoom in. Okay, if you have a mouse, you can also use a mouse wheel or a left and right click. And then here we have a lot of menus on the left side and on top. So for example, we just want to learn how to move around the board. Okay, so here, you can do it manually here. There's a zoom in, zoom out, 60%, 74% on the lower right. But I prefer using the, the trackpad or the mouse because it's faster. Okay, so for example, we try, um, let's say more tools here. Uh, yes, you, so we can select the navigation on how we want to navigate this board. So for example, if I go to settings and then board and then preferences, navigation device here, auto switch. So it's a more info. It's very intuitive. It shows you how you use the Miro board. So you can use it by mouse, trackpad, Again, mouse, you left click, right click to move around and then zoom to zoom in and out. And you can also use the trackpad uh, for two fingers or it's auto switch. Actually, this is new. <laughs> this auto switch thing is new. I haven't tried that before, but it really knows how you're interfacing with the board. Okay. And then, then that's how we kind of interface with the board. So if you want a quick tutorial on how this actually is moving around. So there are things to click and there are items here. I will share in the chat um, one of the links to this um, tutorial video. In fact, I'll stop sharing first. So this um, tutorial video will allow you to actually um, uh, share, uh, you navigate the navigate the Miro board, okay, easily. So I'm gonna share my screen with the audio so that I can play the video while you're with me here. So let me share again. And I will share this tab with audio. All right. So I'll share this uh, link later. But uh, for now, wait, it might be too loud. Let me lower the volume. OK. And let's play this. If you're joining me. OK, I'll just rewind. And then volume might be too loud. Okay, let's play it. In this video, we'll show you how to move around a Miro board and add sticky notes, draw arrows, and add images. If you're joining a Miro board for the first time, please check that your navigation mode is set to mouse. Most new users find this to be the most comfortable setting, even if they're using a trackpad. Okay, but this is an older video, but uh, in uh, Miro, 
they've already updated this. So there's a new uh, there's a new way to kind of navigate. So it's actually more intuitive. But in any case, this is still a useful tutorial. Click and hold to drag the board around. Okay, maybe we can try it while we're doing it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to share the Miro board in the chat. And then you guys can join <laughs> so that you guys can also manipulate the Miro board with me. Okay, so let me just try sharing this board. Share. Uh, anyone in the... Anyone in the team can edit. Okay. So let me post this in the chat here and we'll share it with everyone else. Uh, is this the right link? Yes. Okay, so if you can try, uh, you know, clicking on that and sharing that, then let's, maybe you can join me in the Miro board later and then you can click and move along, okay? So it's a bit confusing, but we'll try it again. If you don't, if you're not able to share or find the link, it's okay. You can practice on your own later, okay? So anyway, we'll continue with the video. Let me uh, find the video and play it again. Okay, play. And pinch to zoom in and out if you're using a trackpad or use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now that you can move around, let's take a look at the toolbar on the left-hand side of your board. Okay, so that's how you move around, okay? We'll continue this later. So first, I'll just show you um, what we're actually doing on the screen. I'll share once more again our existing Miro board. I don't know if people have been able to join already. We'll see. Okay, there we have some people who have joined. Hello, Nina's here, Leia Ann is here, Leigh Marie. Okay, so here, so now you can see that we've shared the link with everyone and we can navigate the board and play with the elements here. So again, this is the customer, uh, sorry, the problem statement. So notice that Nina is clicking and you can edit and you can add different uh, tools here. Me, you're seeing my view your own personal view might look different so that you can zoom out or zoom in as you like. Okay, so it depends right here. So I see Billy. Hi, Billy. Welcome. And then me as the owner of the board can actually, um, uh, you know, bring people to me and all of that. But advanced Nayan, we'll just uh, tackle that next time. But here we can actually, so here on the left side, if you actually see here, the double arrow up, the most common is either text or sticky notes, okay? Or we can insert other templates. So if you use text, if I click here and I say, hello, everyone, but it's too small. So let's increase the font size, okay? So that's just simple text. And then if I want to zoom in, I can zoom in here, hello, everyone, or zoom out, okay? And then the other common thing to use is, of course, the sticky notes. So you can use the keyboard N. So everyone here in the room can actually do this. So you can practice here. So if I click and drag the sticky note and say, hi, Akad Asia teachers. Okay. So, and then you can even uh, add, uh, you know, different comments or notes here. I can move this here. I can put this here. I can even rotate it. I think I'm able to rotate this uh, here. No, I'm just adding a line. So if I wanted to add a line, I could add a line. It's pointing to this because this is what I mean. Okay, so we're just playing around with the board. Okay, so this is a fun and interactive way that if you want feedback from your learners or even from your co-teachers if you're doing something, you can write all your ideas here in the board. But yeah, here, just be careful because if everyone's on the board, everyone can edit everything. Okay, so you just have to set some guidelines on what can be done, what can not be done, or how you want the instructions for people to do. 
okay so that they're not like uh moving it around too much okay so again so this is the fun part of using miro uh when you're doing brainstorming uh, ideas and suggestions and then organizing and clustering your thoughts and ideas plus you have a you know an archive of what the uh, you have a documentation of everything because after everything is here is done you can you can pull you can uh, save this board and print it out later or save it as a pdf and all of that okay so yeah there hello this is fun yeah and then let's say i want to put an emoji here i'll add emoji let's say thumbs up i like your comment thumbs up so i put a thumbs up on your uh on your post hello there okay very good okay so that's a simple way of uh, using uh, miro so I'll go back now to the video and then we'll continue the video because it will show us all the other things you can do. I'm just showing the basics, but there's actually a lot more things that you can do. So let me just share my, the video and we'll finish it. It's only very short. All right. Let's look for it again. Okay, and then I'll play it one more time. While the rest of you, maybe if you're watching or you're playing with the Miro board, it's okay, but just listen, okay? Hovering your mouse over each icon shows you what it can do. To create a sticky note, click the icon, choose a color, and place your cursor where you want the sticky to go. Click or tap to drop it in place. To add text to any sticky note, double-click the center of the sticky note. You should see a blinking cursor that indicates you can start typing. When you've finished typing, press tab on your keyboard to create another one. I don't do that usually. When you, you have a sticky click note away, selected, anyway, white circles will anything. appear in each corner. These will allow you to adjust the size. Try to avoid clicking on any of the blue dots while you work. We'll talk about those later. Let's say you need to make all of these stickies larger. To resize multiple stickies at once, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard as you click and drag the mouse over the stickies. Yeah, so that's really uh, interesting. So now you can uh, you know, manipulate multiple uh, stickers and resize them and all of that, okay? To add an image from the web to the board, Click the three horizontal dots at the bottom of your left-hand toolbar. Okay, this is a bit different because it's an older video. Miro, Miro has made a lot of changes. So it, the, the buttons look a bit different now if you're looking at the new Miro now. But essentially, the functions are the same. You can search images, insert and paste them. In fact, we'll try that later. Let's try to copy this. Let's insert some cute animals in the, in the board. Okay, so I'll just continue the video, then we'll try it. Select Google Image Search, search for the image, choose the one you like best, and click Select. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Even me, I'm having fun. Okay, let's go back. Let's, let's try it ourselves. Okay, I want to try that uh, insert the image again. So let me share my screen so that everyone in the audience can also see while we're doing it. All right. Okay, so, okay, I'm sharing the different tab. Let's go back to our board. Oh, yeah, no, this is nice. So my hearts, Natayo, nice. We have some hearts, 100%. I want to try inserting an image. I, I like the polar bear. So let's just uh, follow the tutorial. So if I can find here, notice on the left menu, it's a little different, but essentially similar functions. So we'll go Google Images, which I installed earlier. I click Google Images. And then we'll search for polar bear. And then, whoa, this is cute. I like this one. There's a mama bear and a cub. Let's select this. If I double click, oh my God, it's so big. It's too big. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, this picture is too big. Let's click on it, zoom out. Let's make it small. Oh, dalawa. It's two. We have two images. Let's delete this one. Oops. Oh, there's too many images. Okay, there. All right. Let's zoom back in. Let's bring back our polar bear. <laughs> it's too big. Okay, let's go here. All right. 
So there we have our polar bear. It's a bit big, but we can make it smaller. Okay, so there. So we're able to add images from the web also. Okay, so pretty fun, pretty interesting. Uh, there's a question in the chat. I already saw it and I'll kind of answer it now. So Miro is free only for the first three editable boards, like I mentioned earlier. So you just go to Miro.com. You log in, preferably either with a Google account or some other email account. Or let's say if you want to use it at your school, you can use your own school account. But know that you will only have it for yourself. You have to invite other members of the team. And then you just follow this tutorial to share the board with others if you want to edit, okay? But just be careful because sometimes if you want to limit how you share it, if you just want it exclusively to only a particular group of students or teachers, then you have to make sure that you're only sharing it to those people. And there's tutorials for that that you can discover later. Okay, so it's a free, it's free for the first three boards and later the other boards cannot be edited. So I'm going to post this link in the chat so you guys can watch along or you can also Google this. I'll post it in the chat now so that uh, you can follow along the tutorial video uh, or you can just Google this. And then all over here, if you want to learn more about how this mirror board works, I'll show you some uh, tutorials at the home page. Okay. So for example, I'll show you now how we use this before when we did a design thinking um, a design thinking activity with the Department of Education, NCR, last time. So before, when I was uh, training um, uh, the DEPED NCR for design thinking, I had a session with them three days. So this is what I used because we could not train face-to-face. -face. There was still a lot of COVID back then. So what we did, we had a group of about 100 um, administrators, officials, and teachers, and we did design thinking virtually. I did three days training with them. So notice here, this Miro board that I prepared early on beforehand contains the entire design thinking templates and process. And if you notice, it's very large. Okay, and then we had all the topics. Now, you can have multiple boards or different boards if you like. But me, I prefer to have everything on one board. Then that way, all their notes can be here. And then I just make a copy of their inputs and I share it with them and they can save it and use it for later so they have documentation. Okay, so for example here, introduction, this is day one for DEPED NCR, how to use a click and make a tag. Okay, and then we did a problem statement similar we did before. Example of problem statement is I am a student who needs a new copy of my diploma because the original got lost. But it takes a long time to find the new copy because the admin cannot find the original copy and it's tedious to reproduce and reprint, which makes the student feel frustrated. Okay, so this is where we start the problem statement to make it into how might be statements to come up with solutions. Okay, so here, for example, other problems, database for the school, easy access to student records. So there are lots of other post-its that are ideas that the group would share. And then all of that, we have other templates here. And then we even have fun uh, prototyping here on day three. So this is an example of the entire design thinking process. Uh, we do pain and gain uh, value proposition customer persona. Okay. So you can do all of this here in Miro, which is quite amazing. Okay. Now, uh, we're almost uh, at an end. I just want to give enough time for question and answer. So... If you guys would kind uh, like to rewatch this video and try Miro, go ahead. You can create your own accounts. But on Acad Asia, don't forget that if you want a certificate of attendance for our Technology Tuesday for today, uh, please remember to sign in uh, with your Acad Asia account. Go to acadasia.com and sign in. Or if you're signing up for the first time, make sure you choose the teacher account. Okay, even if you're still studying to be a teacher. Okay, you don't have your bachelor's degree yet or, or you're already, uh, you know, or you're just studying towards that. Or if you're an experienced teacher, a master's degree, what have you, you can just sign up as a teacher account. This gives you full access to all the features and tools. And after you've signed in, you should be able to join our, of course, our many features. Colab Ed is our, 
you know, version of LinkedIn and Facebook. It's our social network. We have our posts and you can share ideas with fellow teachers here and engage with all of us. We have different communities. And you can join different communities and different um, uh, chat groups. We also have Design Ed for course building and, of course, Skill Ed, where you have the different courses. So here on Skill Ed, let's check if the course is already available. Let me just refresh. Okay, here. Look for Miro for collaborating online. Okay, so if you notice the tools, you can collaborate and share ideas effectively. Make sure you enroll in this course. When you enroll in this course, it's very short. And go through the reflection uh, video activity and the exit survey. And once you complete the entire course, you'll be able to get your certificate of attendance with blockchain. So it cannot be tampered. No one can pretend that they're you. You attended this session exclusively. Okay, so that's part of the benefit of Academia. When you take our courses, you get a blockchain certificate. And then you would have completed the Miro for collaborating online. Okay, so that is uh, Miro uh, in a nutshell. Uh, we're going to open the floor now to question and answers. We have about the last maybe 15 minutes if you'd like to ask. So if there are any other questions uh, that you'd like to ask us, uh, please uh, do so by posting in the Mentimeter chat or maybe in the chat of the video you're watching. If there are any other questions on our demo. Okay, so we have one question here. Let me check. Here's a question. Is there a limit to the number of people that can join a Miro board at the same time? If there is, how many? I think there is a limit. But before, when I was with um, uh, DepEd NCR, when we were uh, conducting our Miro board, we had as many as 40 people on the board. So in fact, it can go maybe up to 100 or more. Okay, so just uh, check the Miro help. Maybe we can share it. I'll, I'll do that now. You can share, uh, you can find out uh, exactly what Miro can do. So let me uh, share my screen once more. So I'll go back to the main board. So I'll go back from here. So here you can create a board. And notice here when you're creating a board, there are boards for this team, okay? So here we have the Technology Tuesday Miro. But notice that because this is an editable, editable board, the other boards become view only. So that's the, if you're using a free account, you can only use three editable boards. So like this one that we have here, we can edit. But the others, view only, view only, okay? And I guess the limitation, I presume, um, free boards have certain limits, while uh, uh, paid boards, or if you've upgraded, you have uh, more limit, uh, more features and more options. Okay, so here we have 76 users, team profile. We can create different boards. So let's say show the different templates if you want to choose. There are lots of templates that you can select. Um, and there. And then, of course, you can upgrade and invite members. If you want to learn more, here are the question marks, the learning centers. If you click here, there are lots of tutorials here also as well. Aside from the link I shared with you, there's a practice board moving around. So this is their new uh, academy. Okay, so here you can ask the community, explore. So let's say academy. If we click here, there's actually an entire uh, live training for Miro. Okay, so pretty good. So you can explore that and then use that in your courses. So what's nice is you can even insert some Miro boards in your Academia courses. Okay, maybe next time we'll try to insert one so that we can play with the Miro board here. Okay, so, and as I showed you before, this is something that we'd use for our design thinking sprints for our session. So if anyone is interested, please let us know. Uh, email us at uh, support at acadasia.com. I'll put it in the chat. Support at acadasia.com. And let us know if you're interested on the design thinking workshop with Acadasia. And we'll use Miro to conduct that, okay? And if we have a cohort of 20, that'll be great. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions from the audience? Uh, I think I'll just read the comments for now. Yeah. These software and apps really help us. So in case you cannot use the physical face-to-face post-it, or if you want a better way to use your construction paper and your you know, felt-tip pens and all your coloring materials, this is actually one way to do it because you can use it all virtually. So really amazing uh, how we can uh, use these boards and these tools so that we can further uh, enhance our teaching and training. Okay, so again, don't forget to sign up for your Academia account 
so that you can complete the course and get your certificate. And as for our quick demo on Miro, and also let us know, uh, send us an email at support at academia.com if you'd like to uh, have a design thinking workshop with us. And we can actually use this board together uh, so that we can have a really interesting experience using design thinking for our classes. Okay, so uh, there are no other questions. I guess we can wrap up uh, our session today. Uh, if you want to improve, also we have an evaluation form. So maybe we can copy this and post it in the chat. Uh, yeah, JB, yeah, this app needs to be online. Okay, so we have a question in the chat. Uh, Miro needs to have an internet connection. You'd have to have a live connection because the entire board is live on the internet. So you have to have a connection. You cannot use this offline, okay? So make sure that you have an internet connection when you're using this. And then um, let's go to the evaluation form. Uh, let me see if I can copy it and paste it in the chat as well. You can ask uh, the help of our team here. Let's just get the actual evaluation form so that we can have uh, some feedback uh, from all of you. Now uh, there, we posted it already in the chat. Thank you so much, team. Uh, make sure that you fill up the evaluation form as well uh, for our session today. Again, that's a quick demonstration of Miro and its capabilities. Uh, and that wraps up our Technology Tuesday. Let us know if you want to sign up for our Saturday sessions. Uh, we can organize the sticky notes really quickly. Yeah, so we can just click and drag so that you can group together. Uh, you can just follow the tutorials to do that. Okay, so without further ado, that is our Technology Tuesday demonstration. I have been your host, uh, Roy Platon from Acad Asia. And uh, see you again next meeting. Thank you very much, everybody. See you. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Acadasia teachers. Thank you. Oh, and uh, of course, sorry. Acadasia teacher spaces on October 20th. Don't forget our next event. <laughs> I almost forgot. So our Acadasia teacher spaces next October 20th. Uh, that's a Thursday. Come and join us. Uh, please sign up and register there, okay, so we can see each other. Thank you, everyone. Acad Asia Teacher Spaces on October 20. Have a nice discussion there about, again, design uh, thinking as well. All right. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. See you at uh, next week.